Hi, Union sisters, brothers, and cousins. My name is Sean Kane. I'm a professor at Eastern Oregon University out in beautiful La Grande, Oregon. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program today. Um, I started the process in October of last year, and to get the process going, I had to convert my loan from a 25-year um, repayment plan into an income-based repayment plan. Um, that's the first thing I did, submitted that, and about three weeks after my, that submission, it was accepted, um, and I was in the income-based repayment plan. From that point, I could then go on to the Fed Loan um, website and submit my application for the loan forgiveness program. Um, that was in October. Um, between October and March, I had 12 different times when I was asked to resubmit either the loan application, a W-2, and so forth, and just make sure you do that when people are asked. Now, um, if you uh, want to do it on your own, that's fine. Um, AFT National also has an agreement with Summer that will, can uh, guide you through the process, and I kind of wish I had known about that um, because I was a bit confused and spent a lot of extra time um, trying to do research on my own to figure out what was going on. Um, after, uh, in March, I got my initial acceptance into the program. Um, basically, what I received was a letter saying that six of my repayments counted towards my the loan forgiveness, so they were qualifying payments. Um, but there was a note saying that my application would probably be reevaluated. So basically, they gave me the six payments that I made under um, the income-based uh, repayment plan. Um, and then uh, about four weeks after the initial acceptance letter, I got a second letter saying that all of my previous re um, payments also qualified for repayment, despite the fact that they were not made under an income-based repayment payment plan. And in the end, I ended up saving about $21,000 um, through the program. So a couple of things to be aware of. One is make sure that if you're not in an income-based repayment plan, get into one. And after you do that, your payments, even in non-income-based repayment plans, will count, can count towards your um, qualifying payments. Um, the second thing is that you have to become, or you have to have applied for the program by October 31st of this year. It's only a temporary change. And so if you um, have time to do this, I suggest really going, um, going through the process. It does actually work. <laughs> um, I know that I was hesitant to try it at first because I was hearing the numbers of people that weren't getting um, approved. And, you know, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, you know, just was, I was persistent, made sure that I did everything they asked me to do. Um, and in the end, you know, a whole level of stress came off my shoulders when I got the, the, the um, final email saying that all of my um, loan debt has been uh, taken care of. So um, I hope all of you have a similar experience and um, good luck.